Hey everybody, it is cooking with Nicole. Um, I would like to welcome you to obviously to my kitchen. Um, I am going to show you how to cut a pineapple up, okay? Um, so I get asked this all the time. You may have one of these that you bought from Hamper Chef and you have no clue what it does or maybe you don't completely know how to use it correctly or maybe you're scared to death, okay? Um, so I just wanted to come on live with you and show you how that I'm gonna cut a pineapple up using Pamper Chef's Pineapple Wedger. Um, yes, you do need a knife as well. I'm using my favorite Santuco knife. Um, and I'm also using the large groove cutting board, okay? Um, that actually has the rubber grip and I should say silicone on both of the sides so it does not slide around on your countertop, okay? And in addition to, you'll see these um, grooves right here is actually gonna catch any juices. So this is really good for meats. If you have like a pork tenderloin or anything that's super juicy, those juices are gonna stay in. If you're cutting a watermelon, if you're cutting pineapple, cantaloupe, any of that stuff that has a lot of juices, this cutting board is your go-to um, for that. And it doesn't slide around, okay? Um, so my first tip is take your pineapple. Uh, when you buy a pineapple, you wanna make sure it's good and yellow. You do not want it green. If it is green, it's gonna be very hard to get in, whether you have a cutter from Pamper Chef or any other type of um, cutter, and then in addition to a knife, okay? Um, so what I always do, you always wanna start off with a very flat surface. So I'm just gonna take the bottom. We're gonna cut the bottom. Hopefully this is not bad. Okay, so you can see we got that cut. And we also, so you always wanna start with that flat surface, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it in half again because the thing about this is you have to get up on top of your pineapple and put and drive this down, okay? Um, and whether you're short or tall, it's one of those things that's like I can't never get on top of it. So my tip for you is to cut your pineapple in half again, okay? Is what I want you to do. So you're gonna have two halves here, okay? You're gonna take this plastic piece off and don't disregard this yet because you're gonna need this at the end. But what I want you to do is circle. Y'all can probably see that, okay? You wanna line that up with your core. And FYI, please do not grab the bottom of that because it's blades, okay? Um, so be very careful. So what you wanna do is just kinda line your core up. And then what you wanna do is just get on top of it. And like I said, I'm tall, okay? But you might be short. But if you cut this in half, you should not have to like get up on something and get down on it, okay? And what you wanna do is just drive it down, push it all the way down. Now we wanna take this plastic piece. You wanna put this back on, line it back up push it through and look it pushes the entire pineapple through and then you have your parts to throw away and then voila look okay super easy okay now you're gonna slice this again it's up to you however you prefer to do it um that's your choice the stem is here this is the insole those of y'all that may keep these for your water bottles um very good for that those y'all that like to put these in your water um i know a lot of people do lemons lime a lot of people do pineapple um so look you can freeze these put these in a sandwich bag and throw them in the freezer and put them in your water bottles or in your water cup if you have a yeti or something like that you can be able to do that okay but look okay no easy cleanup from that now this is your choice let me get a paper towel for you. this is y'all's choice um, on personally how you like to cut it up, but it out, you know, it is half for you already. Okay. Um, so I typically just, you know, take a couple of swipes like this and I like mine in chunks. Okay. Um, but if you wanted to do like, especially if you wanted to do hamburgers, those kinds of things, you might want to keep it big. Um, it's up to you. Or if you're going to grill it, however you want to do. Y'all, this is really good grilled with some cinnamon. Um, you can throw some sugar in there if you want to, but if y'all have our Pamper Chef season, and this pineapple is amazing, okay? And you can just throw it, um, if you have a grilling griddle, if you just want to throw it in a skillet, you can throw it in the air fryer. Um, it's amazing, because you can actually take, okay, um, if you have our air fryer, just FYI, you can actually take this pineapple and cut and top and like you do a rotisserie, run the stick through the middle and actually roast this. It is amazing. Okay, um, so just another um, tip for pineapple. And I actually get my pineapples from Costco because they are actually from the Caribbean. They're from Costa Rica, I believe. Um, and it says, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, Caribbean sweet. Um, so it is different from Dole brand and I personally like that. Um, so when I go to Costco, I make sure and pick up two of those. Um, and they're really cheap. They're less like $2 and some change. So y'all can see that's kind of how I've got it cut up, okay? Now I'm gonna store these in my glass leak container from Pamper Chef. Love these. Y'all, we sell these in a set. You should truly get this. This is actually the large one. And that is glass. So you can use that in the microwave and you can also put it in the um, oven and cook in it if you wanna reheat something 
or guess what? You can throw it in the dishwasher, okay? Um, and it does come with these cold lids as well, and it does say paper chef on and they actually lock down. So if anybody's familiar with that lock and lock system, it's just kind of the same thing when it comes there, okay? So we're just gonna cut that up, put these in here. So that way you always have, I love cold pine. I love all my fruit cold, just about, not bananas, but apple, strawberries, I love them all cold. So we're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna get on top of this, push it down. Like I said, you might have to get on there and push it a little bit, especially depending on how thick it is. Get it through there. Y'all heard that. You're just gonna disregard the outside. And then again, you just have your two little pieces. And again, y'all can save this for water bottles. Okay, however you wanna do that. If you have people coming over and you always put pretty fruit in there to make it look pretty, that's an option that you can do as well. Okay. And if you have some of your favorite things that you do with pineapple, I would love to hear. I'm such a pineapple girl, love pineapple. Um, and y'all, it took me a very long time to know the difference because growing up, I don't know, I don't never even remember seeing real pineapples in the grocery store. Every time that we got pineapple, it was always in a can. So I cannot, it's, I mean, it's been since Paper Chef, obviously, but I had my first real pineapple and I was like, Lord, I will never buy can again. So if you ever have a recipe that calls for canned pineapple, y'all buy you a true pineapple. There is no, there is no comparison in taste, okay? So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions at all, please let me know and I hope you have a great day.